friends thank you so much for tuning back in at home with Susanna today you are in my backyard in Gilbert Arizona and it is a wonderful day to be out here and doing some gardening so we are going to be talking about my keyhole gardens we're going to be dumping some dirt in the garden and also adding some plants and herbs in 2020 when we had some downtime my husband and I came up with a plan I designed and he built this twin keyhole gardens and uh, the concept behind it is that in the center section you create an area um, where you drop all your um, compost compostables like uh, vegetables scraps fruit scraps some like egg cartons eggshells like I wash the eggshells so I don't attract other pests I guess and um, and as it all breaks down, it feeds the rest of the garden. Um, so it has worked really well in the last three years. Um, today we ended up buying some additional dirt at Costco and I will show you that in just a moment. Um, we do need to replenish it because there, um, the, the dirt went down quite a bit in the last three years and we do have some irrigation that we installed and it's already popping up because there's not enough dirt. Here are the bags of dirt that we bought. It's the Organic Choice from Miracle Grow. Um, this was on sale at Costco for $8 per bag, and it's a pretty large bag. Um, it's 50 quarts per bag, so that's not bad. I'm not sure how many of the bags I will be using for the one garden, but um, if we do have some leftovers, we will add it to the second one. This is the second keyhole garden, and this one has some stuff going on. Um, so this last fall, I really wasn't feeling that motivated and time just got away. Um, but nature is so wise, whatever seeds were in the ground, they just started to uh, come up at some point when the temperature was right. And this is parsley, and look at this. Look how big the leaves are amazing right look at this um so i have parsley growing everywhere and then i do have some lettuces also it's all from last year whatever was on the ground it just started growing on its own so i've been making some salad some of it is gone already um and using lots of parsley in my dishes the one thing that i wanted to touch up on um the compost area i pretty much put anything in there like i said fruits and vegetables scraps um egg carton boxes um eggshells that are washed the one thing i didn't know guys is that you're not supposed to put citrus peels um in your compost if you have it just like me and the reason for it is because if you are trying to have worms in the dirt which works really well for gardening um it's going to kill them i didn't know that i actually bought worms and if you haven't seen my video i'm gonna link it up for you so that you can see uh, where i got them from and um, how they help the garden but anyways um, i started seeing a decline on my worm population in the dirt and i couldn't figure out why until i read that it's not a good idea to add lemon peels um, or any part of the lemon to the compost so i learned the hard way at some point this year i will go back to the worm farm and get some more worms and i guess i'll have to make another video for you
I just got home and I wanted to show you my purchase. I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to have this in the garden growing again. Um, most years I, I start my plants, most of them, by seeds, but I got started a little late. So instead of giving up like I did in the fall, I, I decided I just was going to go to my garden center and get some plants going so that I have no regrets this summer. I'm not sure how many bags of dirt we're going to use. My husband just pointed out how smelly it is and if our plants don't grow with this stuff, he says he doesn't know what will. So hopefully he's right. And uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I use kitchen gloves for garden gloves. I don't like garden gloves. I don't like the way they feel. So this is perfect for the occasion and we're going to get started. I think we're going to need a couple more bags. Six bags went in and now it's time to break it again and level it up. The one thing I'll say is this is so nice. I used to garden on the ground like most people and this is so easy because you don't have to bend down so if you suffer from back aches this should not be much of an issue. This was a great invention. <laughs> so let's get started with the plants. After going back and forth a few times, I decided the location of each plant and hopefully I won't regret it later because some sites get more sun than others, especially in the summer. So eventually all plants will burn down and die because that's what happens in Phoenix, Arizona in the summertime when we have 115 to 120 degree temperatures. But um, we're going to give it a good start and see what happens almost ready but i just remembered this i took a gardening class um, where i learned a few things um, one of them is that you need to start with one of this and it needs to be clean um, they actually had alcohol spray um, for us to disinfect it um, so that when we would start gardening uh, whatever new plants we had we weren't transferring any bad bacteria or whatever fungus or um, from one garden to another. I also learned that basil deters some pests so it's good to um, have basil in your garden and uh, marigolds um, attract bees and other pollinators. I would assume that many flowers do but marigolds were the the choice of the garden, the, the master gardener. Um, so I'm gonna get started and um, first I'm going to dig a hole and I'm going to pour some water in the hole. That's also what we were told to do. Um, and then I'm going to add the, the plant. I'm gonna water it one more time and um, that's my plan.
I feel like we accomplished a lot this afternoon. Everything got done, everything that was in my mind for the last month. So this was perfect. Um, the temperature is uh, wonderful. And uh, I just wanted to tell you that if you invested time watching this video, you probably want to continue following me so that you can see the progress of the Keyhole Garden for the summer. Um, it's been great having you with me. I really appreciate your time more than you think. And give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so yet. And subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Take care.